So, hey, what do you guys think? Oh, there's a lot of oxidation on the car. What happened here? I had a pole. Why can't we drive one of those? I'm not allowed to drive those. I thought your parents were in Italy. Uh, Singapore. So who's going to know? My brother. Oh, future man. Future man? Yeah, you know, because he looks like he's from the future. He looks like he was designed by scientists for desert warfare. <laughs> <laughs> but let's stay focused on this yeah, here. This has a V8, Dignan, so. And what do the cops have? Chevys? Come on, think, think. You gotta get me out of here, man. You gotta get me out of here. What do you mean? This house. Okay. My brother. Yeah? He's a crazy fuck. He's constantly terrorizing me. It never stops. Okay. You're talking about future, man? Okay, he's a coaster place. Yeah, sure. I gotta move my car out of the driveway, man. He's gonna kill me. You gotta move your car out of the driveway? Why do you have to move it? Let me tell you something, man. Okay. This job is the only thing in my life right now, okay. and that really scares me, really scares me, because I don't think Dignan respects me very much. I think that Dignan does respect me. He, he doesn't respect me. He doesn't respect anybody. The guy is a power junkie. He's got his own agenda, and that's the only thing that he cares about. What are you guys doing? <sighs> the meeting's over. Oh, we're just talking. We'll talk later. What do you got there, sandwich? Let me have one of those. Where'd you learn how? Books on herbs. Herbs? I don't know. What's the connection with the herbs? Pot is an herb. Really? It's like any other kind of garden. Question. How much could you grow, realistically? Realistically? Honestly. Mm -hmm. As much as I want. These plants come up I've got now, I have $6,000 worth of weed. 6000 bucks? Yeah, and you gotta just take a look. I have an entire crop in my backyard. If they're in your backyard, Ready, how do you guys? protect them? It's almost three. Let's, let's go. How do you protect them back there? Nobody goes back there. It's private property. Hmm. Plus, I have Hector. Hector? Hmm. Hector's not gonna do anything, Bob. Hector's got a loud bark. That's the most important thing is a loud bark. A loud bark? You ready, guys? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hector does have a loud bark. Hey, Joe, shit, are you gonna clean your table up there or what? I'm sorry. We didn't know. Better clean it up. I didn't have that right there. So well, I'll take that. Get OK, cut. Cut. OK. And if you want, man, I'll even open up first. I mean, my brother and I, obviously, we've had a lot of problems. Bob, look at Whoa. her, man. Look Good at her. Now, that grief. girl, wow. Oh, man, Anthony, shit, you don't want to miss man. this. Anthony, honestly. Loop around real fast, man. We'll catch Bumps. it over here. What, make a U-turn? No, turn right. Where? Bob, here, turn right. OK, okay. there you go, there you go. Right. There you, go. you got it. What's her problem? Well, no, why was she so angry? It wasn't like anybody screamed out the window oh, or anything. Oh, no, guys, it's, it's, it's much up. better to terrify her by circling around the block, you know, getting closer and closer, never saying a word. Why not just, you know, pull over and toss her in the trunk next time? If you were from Kaufman, you couldn't eat at the Dairy Queen in Seagaville. You know, it's like waving a red flag in front of El Toro. So I pulled in there one night. And Tarzan came over to the car, he had his shirt off, big, healthy guy, and I leaned on my window and said, where are you from? I reached under the seat, pulled out a double barrel shotgun, and I said, this is where I'm from, where are you from? And as he made tracks to his car and jumped in it and threw gravel all over the parking lot, I unloaded a load of bird shot in the trunk of his car. <laughs> What's the difference between a gun and a firearm? All guns are firearms. A cannon is a firearm. A shotgun's a firearm. Have you ever shot a man, Temple? Nope. Have you ever known anyone who's been shot? Yeah. Uh, you, you hear all this stuff about automatic weapons? I knew a sergeant who was in Korea 
had been shot right across the abdomen 17 times with a machine gun, a Chinese machine gun. You know why I know he's not lying? I saw the scars in the shower. <laughs> what is the most painful place to be shot? Right there. Have you ever shot a dog? Yeah, killed a dog once, back in the 70s. What kind of dog? It was a junkyard dog. He <laughs> <laughs> was a big, ugly German Shepherd. It had mange, it had an attitude, and I cured it with a 12-gauge shotgun. <laughs> Would you shoot somebody if they assaulted you? I'd shoot them if they assaulted somebody else. Uh, you can teach people to shoot. You can't teach them to shoot other people. That's, you're either born with it. You either do it or you don't. Is there any weapon better to carry than just an actual firearm? Yeah, a sword. It's the only weapon designed to kill people, and it's very efficient. It does a good job. Have you ever carried a sword? Uh-uh. I don't know enough about knife fighting, so I don't carry one. What was the first weapon that you ever got? Actually, I bought two. One was a 22 automatic, and the other was a double barrel shotgun. How old were you? Nine. Landscaping? Yeah. Landscaping. Oh. Motherfucker! Yeah. What was that? Anthony, come on. Phil? Phil, what's wrong? What the hell is going on, man? No. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if that guy was on drugs. What else is new? Hey, how long do you guys have to go to the police academy for? Uh, five months. Five months? Yeah. yeah. What all does that cover? Crime prevention, social issues, first aid. What about domestic violence issues? Yeah, some domestic violence. Hand-to-hand -hand combat? What is he doing with that, man? You know, know man. <laughs> Dignan loves cops. I mean, he's... There's a million places to hide around here. I don't think they're going to catch oh, this. Oh, I know, man. They'll never catch the guy. I bet you Phil provoked him. <laughs> he did. You a good cop? Yeah, I'm a good cop. You a rookie cop? Do I look like a rookie cop? Hey. Did you hear that, Sarge? What? We're gonna nail this guy. Where are they going? Stay out of the backyard, Dick. I heard something right over here. What did you hear? It was a uh, high-pitched noise either from over here or over here. Look out for the dog, Dignan! What? The canine gonna bite? No, this dog's not gonna bite. Look out. That's it, Hector. I'll hold it. Come There's... back to the house. Man, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, do you hear? I'm hearing something up in this tree. Officer! What do you got? What's that? Those are... The... Hold it! I'll make it run after you! Free! <laughs> Bill, he's running! The Prowler, get him! He's running that way! <laughs> help your partner, help him! Dignan. So it's my fault. Anthony, Bob, split up. No. This is scary, man. This is really scary. Are you as scared as I am, Bob? Are you scared, honestly? I'm fairly scared. Dignan. Anthony, are you scared? Why should I be scared? I didn't do anything. Well, yeah. who was it with me in the bookstore robbery, man? Come on. The idea of Bob under interrogation or even the threat of it should leave everybody in the car panic-stricken. Interrogation. Panic stricken. What could they really look do? Look at that Trans Am. Wow, man, look at that. I mean, what could they really do to me, man? I just had a couple of plants. News flash for you, my friend. Drugs are illegal. For stars, they could confiscate your parents' house. I mean, could they really? 
Now you're scared. Now you're scared. That's how we should all be. Really scared. So just so we can uh, finally put this one to rest, guys. They weren't actually thieves. They were gardeners. Is that about it? That's. They were late why, all, why always so negative? You know, can't we live in this moment for a second? I, just, I don't like to. Come on, man. Anything. Let's get with it. Celebrate this moment. Celebrate this moment, man. Be scared and don't don't act cool all the time. I'm fucking terrified, shut and up, so's dude. Bob. Just shut up. He's just gonna man, fucking kill me, man. Bullshit. He's gonna rip my head off, dude. Charges. What's their evidence, man? Well, the pot plants are a pretty good start. True. How come they haven't set the bail yet? That's know. unconstitutional. I don't, I don't know anything. I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see when we get back. <clears throat> what do you mean, get back? Well, obviously, we have to go back. Get him out. Bob, that makes no sense. And let me tell you why it makes no sense. Right. I don't care if it doesn't make any sense to you, Dignan. My brother's in jail, man. This is my chance to show Jack that I'm a real Maplethorpe, that I'm really the brother. He's never given me credit for it. It's being... just not going to happen, Bob. Can we have a, a minute, please? Dignan, I am going back. Not in that car, you're not. <laughs> Watch me. Watch me, Dignan, okay? Come on, man. Get in the car. Bob. Yeah. Get in the car, man. You can ride in the back seat. Bob. Bob, you just not gonna talk to me? <laughs> yeah, if I was out in the desert right now, I'd just be finishing up my evening session with Dr. Nichols. That's where he felt like I'd made the most progress in my recovery. Then I'd usually walk on over to the rec room and play ping pong with this guy, Curtis. That was always really fun. Just kind of had a good time. Talk to people and go to bed early. Come on, man. Did you hear that? Of course, I guess I am getting a form of shock treatment out here on the road with you two guys. Absolutely, man. See, this trip we're taking is highly symbolical, and that's what I've been saying, man, is that we don't know exactly where we're going, but we'll know once we keep winding through. Dignan. I mean, I don't know about you, man, but I've had about as much as I can stomach from that son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. I mean, you really think they can confiscate my parents' house? And where the fuck are we going now, you know? Hey. Yeah. You want a stick of gum? Yeah, thanks, man. Don't tell Dignan I called him a son of a bitch. I mean, I, I just don't think a guy like that could handle that kind of information, you know? I'll tell you this, though, man. This Buck Private's taking his last marching orders from Commander Dignan. Commander Dignan? Is that what you guys call me? It's pretty good, man. Commander Dignan. Right. Like that.
know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna get some flowers and I'm gonna put them in each one of the rooms that Inez cleans. Because I think it'll make the whole place a whole lot more cheerful. Oh. <coughs> you think that's too much? Yeah, I do. I think it's a little too much, man. Putting flowers in all the rooms. Oh, I think I'm in love with her. What? I think I'm in love with her. Now, wait a second. Now, you think or you know? What's the difference? See, only a crazy person would ask that question. You think she's in love with you? Maybe. I find that hard to believe, because you just met her. Oh. And I'm not trying to be Dr. No I love here. her, man. OK. I love her. Well, I know. You keep saying that, but. I love her. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, yeah, this is a big call. This is a big call, man. It's ringing. Oh, yeah, one of the major telephone calls of our lives right here. My... Hello, Mr. Henry, it's Dignan. Right, from the, yes, yes. Well, I was just calling because you might have heard that we pulled a pretty successful job last week, and, all right, well, do you have just a second because I'd just like you to say hello to my partner, Anthony, because I know it means so. All right, okay. So... Anthony. Yeah. Hey, how'd we do? Mm, pretty good. Hold on. What? Good luck to you, Yank. In your own language, scram. Okay, well, why didn't you say so in the first place? There's a lot of valuable shit in there. Applejack, the silver, the china, the crystal. I got a grand piano there. It's probably worth 10 grand. All right, but why do we have to blow up his car? I'll tell you why we're going to blow up his car. It don't make no sense. OK, I'm settling an old score. You might say revenge. It sounds like a bunch of bullshit that'll end us both in jail. Then we might have to take that chance, because I feel pretty strongly about this one. I told you that. Is that Bob? Get down. Is it him? No, it's Anthony. Looks like he's staying at Bob's. I got his own room. Let's go. Let's follow him. There he goes. What are we following this guy for? I just want to see where he's going, man. I don't want him double backing on us and catching us out front. You you're talking about robbing a house, now we're all following some guy running well, with his I, To me, it makes more sense to make, just make sure on this one thing. Better safe than sorry. You're the one who hit me to that. Stay back. Did he see us? No, no, he didn't see us. Oh, Jesus. Pull over right here. Here, keep a lookout for me. 